The new building, actually, Tom, is is the same the same footprint as what one and two were combined. So what we did is that we we tore down the old what you would call building one and two. And if you if you look over here to the east, we actually are about 16 feet longer. So when the when the cattle actually come out of the the scale, they'll be able to just walk right in here and tie very easily right into our show ring. But um, we tore down buildings one and two. We had to build it up because if you remember when you had buildings one and two, we had some, some times where if there's a bunch of rain, there's some lower areas and such. But we actually, uh, that's, that's where you know, the, the help from the community really, really shined. Yeah. Clan Farms gave us the dirt to haul in. There's a lot of people that, that donated their trucks. Uh, Mitch Clean, Alan Zelmer, ourselves, um, Stamp actually came in and, and leveled it out. I mean, those type of things is, is really what enabled us to, to get this done. Greg Zelmer, Glenn Sontag, you know, everybody on the Buildings Ground Committee, Dave Williamson and, and Mike McDermott, uh, Scott Bailey, all those guys just did a nice job of, of helping us out. And, the thought process with this, you, you know, if you remember the, the old barns, one and two, if with, with, by the time you put in wood chips, their head were, were hitting the ceiling, which on a day like yesterday or, or on Monday on the 21st, extremely hot. And so what we did is, is at the eaves, it's 10 feet high and open, and all the fans are going to go from south to north. So when we get the cattle in here tomorrow, it's going to be going on south to north. Um, the stall dividers were something that Wire Plus Welding actually designed for us. We kind of gave them an idea of what we wanted to do. And as you can see, you know, some of the clubs already have, have their stuff in down there. That's basically what, what it's going to look like. And, and we're just tickled pink with, with the way that the electrical is set up. And, you know, that's another thing with the old barns. The electrical, you know, we have, a, for example, a double blower. You know, the electricity that we can use at times is, is pretty high. And so with, with this, the, the basically, when you look at the electrical there along the, the stalls, dividers, you're gonna have about an outlet for every animal that, that is here. And that way that you can have a, basically one fan per animal and, and be able to, to do that without worrying about the breakers tripping and, and overloading the, the system. The, the other thing is with, with these two lines, you're gonna go head to head or nose to nose, I guess you could say. We're going to be able to house about 50% of what we had when we just had one and two. The cattle will be nose to nose along the east and nose to nose along the, the west. You'll also be able to have tack area and shoots along the outside. We're actually already committed to having the Iowa Angus State Show here next June, which will be about 150 cattle and we'll we'll be able to house all those in in this one one building where we couldn't do stuff like that before you know the facilities and, and all the help from from everybody if you look over there and anybody that does come out I, I would you know really highly suggest you taking a look at everybody that is that has donated their time and and money to to help get this done you know it wouldn't have it's not a small task. We, we're about 75% raised on, on what we need to have to, to pay for the whole thing. But I couldn't be more pleased with, with what everybody has contributed and, and how everybody's really stepped forward to, to, to give, get this going. You know, it started three years ago with a raffle f with a international tractor and <laughs> And today, you know, it, it's pretty rewarding. You look back three years ago, and we just started, boys and I selling raffle tickets at the food stand. And, and today we have a, a beautiful building that can house all the, the calorie coming to the fair. And, 
and they're talking warmer weather here at the end of the end of the week and you know instead of being 100 degrees in here 90 it's going to be with the fans blowing it's probably going to be 75 degrees even when it's 95 outside john how many square foot is it and how much money uh still needs to be raised to complete the uh, so funders? yeah so we're we're 136 long by 80 wide is basically what we have and, and we're 75 percent of the of the total raised and and so if anybody wants to to help help us out on the finishing costs you know some of some of the things that that we you know basically picked up as far as the buildings ground committee and everything is the exterior fence and 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 doing those type of things to make sure that you know we can we can contain the cattle in here it's going to be very safe for all the exhibitors and you know that's that's the number one objective is when the kids are here it's just a good experience for for everybody the the other great thing is you know the numbers for the cattle this year are up and we're we can't be more excited you know our Cass county fair is in my opinion is the best county fair in the state and a lot of it's because of the hard work that the fair board and and everybody does and making sure that we have the numbers and and supporting supporting our youth